Okay, so in this question, <clears throat> a horizontal spring of spring constant k and negligible mass is compressed through a distance y from its equilibrium length. It is compressed. Okay. So an object of mass m that moves on a frictionless surface is placed at the end of the spring. The spring is released and returns to its equilibrium length. What is the speed of the object just after it leaves the spring? Okay, so the question is that there is a spring and there is a mass at the end of the spring. We have compressed the spring. So obviously the work is done and the energy is stored in the spring as potential energy of the spring. Okay, and then after we have reached the extreme position, what we do is we leave it. The body comes back to the main position. Now, as we know, as, as a matter of theory, at the mean position, the velocity gain becomes the maximum. So at mean position, the velocity of the object will be maximum. And so it will disconnect itself. It will leave the spring because it is actually not attached to it. And spring will start reducing its velocity, but the body has attained its velocity, whatever. And so there will be a detachment between the body and the spring. Obviously, the object will move separately. So at that point, we need to find the velocity. So what is the working? The working is the work is converted into the potential energy and then potential energy is converted into the kinetic energy of the body. So we know that the potential energy is given by half into k into extension or the compression. So y is the compression here. So it will be this. So this is the potential energy that is stored in the spring now and this will be imparted to the body in total as kinetic energy so now it is kinetic energy so this is equal to half m v square from here we will find the velocity half and half cancels out so it will be k y square by m square root is equal to v so this implies v is y k by m square root. So accordingly, the answer should be A. It's a very simple concept. At the extreme position, the complete energy is potential. And at the mean position, the complete energy is in the form of kinetic energy. Both of the energies are equal to each other. Energy cannot be created, not destroyed. That is why we are doing this thing. Let us uh, verify the answer once. And yes, the answer is A. We are absolutely correct. With this, all the best. Bye.